Q4, also known as quarter four, is finally here. And that means that right now is the time that we need to start getting ready for the biggest sale day of the entire year. Black Friday. Or shall I say biggest sale days? Because there are two days in the entire year that are dedicated specifically for e-commerce. Black Friday this year is gonna be November 27th and Cyber Monday is gonna be November 30th. And in those two days, you could be making some massive profits. As long as you watch this video all the way through so that way you're able to get ready and and prepare for these two crazy sale days. Now, before we get started, let me introduce myself. For those of you that don't know, my name is Mario with AutoDS, and on this channel, we cover anything and absolutely everything dropshipping related. We cover everything starting from some of the best products for you to dropship, all the way to some of the best tips and tricks to help you succeed. So if that's something that interests you, just make sure you hit that subscribe button. Now, in order to make things a lot easier for you, in this video, we are gonna include an easy to reference cheat sheet. On there, I'm gonna include all of the different links that I'm talking about, as well as all of the different tips and tricks, and the occasional bonus or two. So if you want access to that, all you have to do is go ahead and comment down below hashtag Black Friday 23 and let me know what your plan is to tackle Black Friday this year. I want to know what you're doing to get prepared for it or what you have already done in order to prepare for this massive sale day. Once I see that you went ahead and did that, I'll go ahead and reply back with a link to the cheat sheet. Now, why should we take advantage of Black Friday and Cyber Monday? Well, the answer is pretty easy. For one, every single person is trying to find a deal on those two days. Those two days are literally meant for shopping. Back in the day, it used to be that Black Fridays were specifically meant to go into a store and actually make a purchase. And Cyber Monday was for all of the cyber deals and all of the e-commerce deals. But that is no longer the case. While some stores still offer in-store sales, which most of them actually do, you can rest assured that in the last few years and for the foreseeable future, both Black Friday and Cyber Monday are going to include the e-commerce world. So if you have a dropshipping store, then you better make sure that you're going to be taking advantage of these two days because I can't stress it enough. If you aren't running sales or if you're not celebrating these two days, then you could be missing out on a lot of money. Now, how can you start preparing for these two upcoming days? Well, the first thing that you can do is start looking for more suppliers. It's awesome if you have one fantastic supplier where you pretty much get absolutely everything from, but think about it this way. Black Friday and Cyber Monday, again, are the biggest sale days of the entire year. That one supplier of yours has multiple different customers, you being just one of them. You're not the only one. Now, if everyone is running sales at the same exact time for some of the same products that you are, then you're gonna run a really big risk of running out of that particular product or pretty much running out of your entire inventory and if that happens then you're pretty much stuck you're gonna be out of luck and you're not gonna be able to make any sales and you're not gonna be able to most importantly make any money so in order to remedy this you want to look for multiple suppliers that sell the same item and trust me it's a lot simpler than it actually sounds so for one the first thing that you need to do is actually know multiple suppliers remember that one supplier that you're purchasing from isn't the only one just to name a few you always have the option to be able to source from Walmart which they themselves are gonna be having some pretty good sales for Black Friday and Cyber Monday. Another awesome supplier that you can go with is going to be AliExpress. Now, if you look for a particular product on AliExpress, then you're going to find multiples of the same product. So for example, I currently just looked up a fitness watch on AliExpress. Fitness watches this year, by the way, are going to be a pretty popular item. So if you're not offering this, I suggest you do. Now, just as a quick example, on AliExpress, I did search up fitness watch and I started looking through some of the different listings and lo and behold, these two right here are pretty similar, if not the exact same watch, but they're coming from two different suppliers. So as you can see, this one is from AAA factory outlet store, while this one is from smartwatch factory discount store. Now, after I clicked into each one, you can see that this one, the blue variation is the exact same thing that you have here. They're the exact same watch, just from a different manufacturer. And the price is going to slightly vary. So if you look at this one, this one actually is currently on sale for $4, but the original price is about $8 and one cent. Now taking shipping into consideration, we're going to go ahead and add $1.20 because we're always going to go with the one with tracking. So that's $1.20 plus the $8. For the most part, I'm not going to be taking into consideration the sale price. I'm always going to go with the original price, which in this case is $8. So $8 plus $1.20 is going to end up being $9.20. So let's go ahead and compare that to the other one. This one is $11.66 with free shipping. So really the difference is only about $2 to $3. It's nothing crazy. It's not a deal breaker. You're not going to lose out on a lot of money if you decide to go with one supplier versus the other. And again, if one supplier runs out of inventory, you're always going to have the other one to cover your butt so that way you can still make some money and aside from those two another supplier that's worth checking out is the auto ds private suppliers and warehouse now for this you do need to have an account with auto ds which if you don't have one you can start your trial right now for just one dollar but looking into this a little bit more you can see that we have the marketplace on the marketplace we just have to go ahead and switch over the supplier to specifically auto ds suppliers and you're going to see here that we're going to have quite the variation of different products with some pretty quick shipping times so as you can see these babies for shoes right here they actually ship between six to nine business days and just 
to be clear, those six to nine business days are for your customer to receive the item, not for the supplier to ship out the item. So as you can see, it's some pretty fast shipping that trust me, your customers are gonna appreciate. Aside from that, you also have some other ones that actually go a lot quicker. So like these ship between two to four business days, which could potentially rival Amazon. Aside from the marketplace, you also have the winning product section, which here, all of these different products have a proven track record. These have all been trending in the past and are currently still selling. So pretty much on this page, you're gonna find all best sellers. And just as an added bonus, if you click into one of them, let's say this table right here, if you scroll down, you're gonna have some statistics and some analytics that can actually help you sell this product as well as market it. So for when you have a profit analysis that tells you more or less how much this item is being sold for and how much you can make from it, you have a Facebook ad example, which this Facebook ad is actually one that's currently running promoting this same product. You have the target audience for that Facebook ad, so that way you can mimic a similar audience. And you have an example website, which is an actual live website that is selling this same product. So that way you can use it as a sort of inspiration to be able to structure yours. Now, those are just a few dropshipping suppliers. If you want a bigger list, if you want a few more, just go ahead and check out the cheat sheet. I'm gonna have a link to a video there that has quite a few more. So make sure you check that out. So that way you can find some reputable suppliers with some top trending products. Now, another thing that you wanna do is make sure that your store actually looks like it's ready for such a big sale. Start advertising Black Friday sales, Black Friday deals, Cyber Monday sales or deals as well. Make it part of the theme of the actual store. So that way customers know that as soon as they land on your page that you're gonna be taking Black Friday and Cyber Monday seriously and you are gonna be running some pretty good sales. So that way they know to check back and see what you have to offer. Now, if you're like me and you're not necessarily the best at designing and you don't really know how to incorporate these different types of themes into your current theme, like let's say if you're running Shopify, if you don't really know how to incorporate the Black Friday and Cyber Monday deals or advertisements into your website, one really easy way to do it is simply just go to a website like Fiverr. On Fiverr, just simply look for a Shopify theme and then you're gonna find tons of different sellers, different people that can actually make your store for you. They can customize either your store or they can customize a theme so that way it can resonate with your customers so that way they know that you're ready for Black Friday and Cyber Monday and you're taking it seriously. Now, the next thing that you can do is simply tag your products. What I mean by that is if you're using AutoDS, you have the option to tag your different products. So if you have some products that are gonna be specifically on sale on Black Friday, while others that are gonna be specifically on sale for Cyber Monday, then you can tag each one of those products with either Cyber Monday or CM and Black Friday or BF. Now doing this is super easy. Once you log into your account over at AutoDS and you click into one of the products, you're gonna have this option right here for tags. It's really easy to do this. All you have to do is click into it, type in CM because this one I'm gonna have on sale for Cyber Monday and that's it. Now what this does is it can help you keep track of which items are actually being sold and which ones aren't. So at the end of the sale, you can go back and search up the same tag. So you can search up the Cyber Monday tag and get all of the different products that you listed for sale on Cyber Monday. From there, you can see which ones actually sold and which ones didn't. You can go ahead and get rid of the ones that didn't and the ones that did, you can start to look for similar products to be able to offer in next year's Cyber Monday or Black Friday. Now, of course, trends do change from year to year, but for the most part, a lot of the trends do stay the same. Like let's take, for example, fitness. Fitness is a pretty trending niche that is really popular pretty much year round year after year. Some years it could be a bit more popular than others, but overall fitness is a very popular niche. And because of that, there's going to be tons of different products within the fitness niche that are always going to be on sale. One example being the fitness watch. Now, while you don't want to underprice your items, because of course you still want to make a profit, you don't want to overprice them either. Remember that Black Friday and Cyber Monday are really going to be for the deal seekers. I know as dropshippers, our target demographic isn't necessarily the deal seekers. It's always going to be the impulse buyers. But because of these two days and the popularity behind them, we want to target the deal seekers. So make sure you price your items competitively. Don't overprice them. Don't get greedy because at the end of the day, it's only going to be two days that you're going to be running these pretty big sales. So if you don't make the usual amount of money that you do or that you would like to in one order, you're going to easily make up for it by having multiple orders, which in that case, you might even make more because again, Cyber Monday, Black Friday, everyone's making purchases. Everyone's looking for a good deal. Everyone's willing to spend money. What are the different types of discounts that there are and what different discounts can you offer? for yourself. That's really going to depend on the platform that you're actually selling on. So let's say if you're dropshipping on eBay, you have the option for volume pricing. Now volume pricing or volume discounts is simply a discount that's going to be applied after your customer places an order for more than one item. So for example, you can buy one hat at regular price, or you can buy two hats for 5% off, or you can buy three hats and get 10% off. See where I'm getting to with that? The more you buy, the bigger the discount you're going to get. Now, another option that you have on eBay is selling offers to your watchers. So whenever you have an item listed on eBay, certain people can choose choose to watch it. Now, when they're watching it, they get notifications on that particular item, such as when it's sold or if it goes on sale. Now, the cool thing about that is whenever you have an item that actually has watchers on it, you can send 
extended a targeted offer. So you can tell those watchers specifically, hey, if you wanna make this purchase, if you want this item that I'm selling, I can give it to you at a special offer. That being 10% off, 15% off, 20% off, $2 off, whatever it is that you're offering, you can offer it specifically to watchers. And trust me, that works a lot more than you think it does. People see that offer and they think, oh, look, it's a personalized offer specifically for me. And they'll take advantage of it as quick as they can. Now, let's say if you're dropshipping on Etsy, you have a similar function. Now, instead of you sending an offer directly to your customers, you can set it up so that way Etsy automatically sends targeted offers. Now, what happens here is whenever somebody favorites your item on Etsy, within a day or two, they're going to receive an offer for a discount on that item. Now, that's not something that you send them. That's something that's going to be automatically sent. But you do have to set up your favorites targeting offers. Now, if you're selling on Shopify, you can set up automatic discounts. Now, when you set up an automatic discount, in my opinion, it's a lot better than setting up a discount that uses a code because these discounts can be set up so that way they can automatically apply whenever a customer is either shopping through your website or when they're checking out. Another good thing about automatic discounts is the fact that you can limit them to either a certain number of customers or between certain dates. So you can set it to be specific for Black Friday and Cyber Monday. Aside from that, you can also add a spin to win wheel on your Shopify store. Now, this is really cool because whenever somebody lands on your website, they're automatically going to have the spin to win discount wheel. Usually to get access to the discounts, all they have to do is type in their email and the little wheel is going to start spinning. Then it's going to land on a particular discount that you're going to set. Now, one strategy that I do want to give you is go ahead and take that spin to win wheel and keep it on your website year round. Every single time that somebody signs on and they intend to make a purchase, they're going to input their email. So that way they can get a discount. Now, what they don't know is the fact that you're going to be collecting those emails throughout the entire year. So that way, when Black Friday or Cyber Monday comes around or any other sale that you want to run, you can go ahead and start setting up your targeted emails with email marketing. Email marketing is an awesome way for you to stay in touch with your customers and to keep them updated with all of the different events and all of the different sales that you're going to be running. Now, email marketing isn't just limited to Shopify. So on Shopify, you can go ahead and set up the Shopify email marketing. Now, if you're drop shipping on eBay, you can also have your customers sign up for a store newsletter. So that way they can keep up with all of your different sales on your eBay store. Now I'm going to give you a quick list of the five best products that you can start drop shipping for Cyber Monday and Black Friday this year that are going to be trending. But on top of that, I'm also going to let you know how to find out if a particular item is going to be trending for Black Friday and Cyber Monday, depending on past data. Now, in order to do this, it's super simple. And honestly, it's actually my favorite way of finding out if a product is worth selling. So for this, what we're going to do is we're going to head over to trends.google.com. Com. And don't worry, you don't have to remember that the link to this is going to be in the cheat sheet. Now, here we can simply search up any niche, any product, any category, whatever we want. In this case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to search up couch covers. Now, by default, what we're going to have is the last day of searches. That's not going to help us whatsoever. What we want is we want either the last year or the last five years. Personally, I always go with the last five years because it gives us trend patterns. So for this, what we're gonna do is simply switch it over from past day to past five years. And now you can see all of the spikes and all of the dips. So you can see when it's been trending and when it's not so trending. So when it comes to the couch covers, you can actually see that it has some pretty good searches. A lot of people are typically searching for these throughout the year, but what we're looking for is how many people are searching for it throughout the days of Black Friday and Cyber Monday. Now for this, we're looking towards the end of November. So let's go ahead and scroll through a little bit October, November to 17th, right here, November 25th to December 1st. So as you can see, this is actually right at the tip of this particular spike. So you can see here, it started going up, 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 and right there is where it topped around the days of Black Friday. This was in 2018. Now that was a few years ago. So let's start looking a little bit more recent. So let's just keep going forward. We can see that the following year, it actually had quite a bigger spike in 2019 between November 24th and November 30th. The dates that we're looking for are at the tip of the spike. So this is telling us that at those days, a lot of people were searching for couch covers. Now we can keep doing this throughout the next three years, but I'm just going to skip over to the most recent one, which is going to be back in 2022. So let's look for November 2022 right here. So between November 27th and December 3rd, we have the exact same result. It's right at the tip of the spike as it's going down. So from this, we can easily see that couch covers for Black Friday and Cyber Monday are definitely going to be a trending item. So this is one item that you want to have in your store for those dates. Now, the next thing that's going to be trending throughout these days is going to be minimalist jewelry. Jewelry is something that people love to give and get year round, and people tend to purchase jewelry ahead of time so that way they can get ready for certain holidays. So people will be purchasing these items, let's say during Black Friday and Cyber Monday, so that way they can go ahead and give them as presents for, let's say, Christmas. Athleisure apparel is also something that's always going to be trending, especially during Black Friday and Cyber Monday. Around November, December is when people really start to make their New Year's resolution. So a lot of the times, people 
people's new year's resolution is to go to the gym and in order to go to the gym a lot of people like to have gym friendly apparel which is where athleisure apparel comes in athleisure apparel is great for going to the gym or just chilling around at home another new year's resolution for people typically is to be cleaner to clean their own their house make sure everything's clean make sure everything is organized and because of that portable vacuum cleaners are also going to be another trending item now the cool thing about portable vacuum cleaners is the fact that you don't just use them in the house you can use them in a car so that way you can keep your car clean or you can use them wherever you need to go and actually clean something so for one it's easy to take around the house you can take it from your kids room to your room to the kitchen and if you want to keep cleaning just go right outside and start cleaning your car and another very popular item that is trending for the cyber monday and black friday days according to google trends is baby nail trimmers now baby nail trimmers are actually somewhat of a fairly new product to come out at least i think it is because when i had my first son we used regular filers now with my second one we actually found out about these baby nail trimmers that are electric powered they're pretty much electric filers and they're super easy to use and let me tell you all of my friends that have kids right now especially younger kids they all have these electric nail trimmers i've talked to them about it and they've told me the same thing back when we had our first kid we only used a regular file when we found out about these electric nail trimmers it was a total game changer so speaking from personal experience offer these in your store especially if you have a home or a family type niche these will do great now the last thing that i want to cover is how you can quickly set up your store and fill it up with as many products as you possibly can so doing this is probably one of the easiest things that you can do of course you can always go the manual way of importing your different products which is going to consist of going over to the listing saving the different images copying over the titles the descriptions the variations pretty much everything which is perfectly fine if you want to do that if you want to add maybe two or three different products it's going to take you a few minutes to do each one but ultimately at the end of the day it's not going to take that long but if you really do want to stock up your store with as many possible products as you can to increase your chances for bigger profits then you want to go the automated route honestly if you start importing all of these different products manually and you're going to do maybe 20 or 30 different products it's going to take you a long time and you could potentially spend hours just doing the same thing over and over of saving pictures copying titles copying descriptions writing up different variations and it's going to get really old really fast and at the end of the day it's not very productive so let me show you the quickest and easiest way that you can add pretty much as many products as you want so for this right now we're signed on to our auto ds account and we're simply just going to go ahead and click add products from here we can simply add a single product or we can add multiple products now of course we're going to add multiple products because we're going to add as many as we can so let's go ahead and click on that and here you have a couple different options the main ones being urls or ids and uploading a csv when you upload a csv you're going to go ahead and download this example right here and what you're going to have to do is fill out the buy id along with the title and the price for your different items and then just go ahead and upload it but my favorite way of doing this is really to just input the different urls or the different links so i already went ahead and looked up a couple of different products so we're going to go ahead and add this hoodie so all we have to do is cut or copy the link then here we're going to paste it hit enter and we're going to go to the next one i found these couch covers gonna go ahead and copy that link as well back over to our add product section paste enter one more time and let's do these baby nail clippers same thing here go ahead and cut or copy back to our product section and paste now as soon as we click on add draft these three items are going to be imported to our draft section and once they're on their draft section we can go ahead and edit anything that we need we can either edit the descriptions we can edit the titles we can edit the variations and then as soon as we're happy with our listing we can go ahead and list it to go live on our store it's so much quicker than doing things manually because everything is already imported all you have to do is just simply make adjustments to whatever you want now go ahead and take all of the information i just gave you and start setting up your store so that way you're ready for black friday and cyber monday because again trust me you don't want to miss these two days you have the potential to make so much money to make so much profits to make so many sales and if you treat your customers right you answer any questions or any inquiries on time and you make sure that your suppliers all have quality items and fast shipping you're going to have customers for life these customers are not only going to come back for your next sale but they're going to come back to your store throughout the year and check out what you have to offer and potentially make some more purchases because they're going to have the prior experience shopping with you on black friday and they're going to know that you offer quality products with fast shipping and more most importantly, great customer service. And all of that is gonna to translate to more money in your pockets. Remember, if you want all of this in an easy to reference written format, all you have to do is go ahead and comment down below, hashtag Black Friday 23, and let me know what your plan is to tackle Black Friday and Cyber Monday this year huge thank you to everyone for watching especially if you made it all the way to the end as always it truly means a lot if you made it all the way to the end that means that you found this video informational you found it helpful and you found it entertaining if you did just go ahead and make sure you hit that like button and please while you're there also make sure you subscribe so that way you don't miss out on any future videos that have to do with drop shipping or making money or 
some of the best products in dropship. Once again, my name is Mario with AutoDS, wishing you all nothing but success in your dropshipping ventures and massive profits for Q4, especially with Cyber Monday and Black Friday. Again, huge thank you for watching, and I'll catch you all next time.